All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. And they separate. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big ball from Coach Land. Now he gets back to range. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Right hand upstairs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Good stick. Got the single collar tie. Big kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Boy, Ty Klump. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. And he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Real steep body kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. So there it is, total fighter landing a knee to the body. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch land over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Attempts the uppercut there, but it doesn't land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go here. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. He engages in the single collar tie. A swing and a miss by Lee. 20 seconds to go. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Round one winding down here. Single collar tie now. That's a big strike right there. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, High right. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, 
Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Beautiful strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And they separate. Strong defense there to block the shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Oh, big head kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Nice head kick. And they separate. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expecting to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. What a tricky head kick. Effective punch there by Lee. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick. The next with a right. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Tags him with the left. Right punches there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lance with the right hand. Not there. A oh, little single collar tie there. A strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ten, Ten minutes, minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques. But the kicking was the key 
to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice street punch. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That punch, no good. Big head kick. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Massive knee to the body lane. Oh, beautiful jab placement there by the longer fight. Lee's shot is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Try to establish that jab. Punch over the top. Oh, Superman punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Three minutes to go in round three. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high with the point of thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen the thrill of the ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nice right hand. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Can't take many of those. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch there by Lee. And potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. 20 seconds left. He 
comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship right, rounds. What is a fighter's ready. mindset when you Go get back, to fight. the 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Real quick leg kick. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Straight punch lands. He sniffed that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, Superman punch. Big roundhouse now, just misses. And they separate. Going orthodox now. Oh, single. Oh, oh here. There you go. Yep, he swept him right there. Side control now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Fighters back to their feet here. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice punch, Lance. Back to the jab now, no good. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Looping left hand misses the target. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big head kick lands. That's a good move to the body. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the point starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. How good is that right hand? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. One minute remains in round four. Great 
punch landed with so much power. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent on very bad. Back to the feet. And they set. Oh, nice straight. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Next round is underway, and I'm no ready? fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Just misses with that one. And, oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just missing on the counter there. Strike there by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Nice kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. A strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Stay aggressive on those takedowns. Oh. Big punch land. Beautiful body kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, nice. Nice. And they separate. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Head kick lands. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. What a punch. Nice combination there. Liver kick. Yeah, he fixed it all up. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Nice loop and punch. Under two minutes. Remain in the fight. Big body kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Respectable straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to go very bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. It's 
tight clinch. Look for the knees to start. And now he's got the tight clinch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to reclaim. What a punch. And they separate. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Trying to establish that jab once again. And there comes the separation now. Look at the turtles in that kick. Now connects with a right. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Whoa! Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! <laughs> well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you. The UFC president, Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep out of the judges' hands. And that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. See, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.